You're not gonna get any followers unless you fucking stick this up your ass. That's another video, pal. Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is the how to get these brake lights slash running rear lights on your master. You can see underneath here is where the stock one goes. The plastic screws in. There's actually an RGB light in there that you can't really see that well during the day or even at the night because of the tinted lens. I removed it entirely because that plastic breaks very easily. I did not see the point in putting it back together when I could just use the wires to make some nice visible bright untinted lights. From the top there is just four screws that you need to take out. Once you take those out you can actually lift this guy off. And then here is the three wire shroud that comes out from the controller under here. It's a three pin connector for positive, negative, and the little data wire, signal wire. The black, red, and white. Most RGB LEDs will have matching colors or something similar. Red, black, and green is what I've seen. I just soldered these together. You can get solder shrink wraps, and those are actually really easy. If you don't know how to solder, you just need a heat gun or a torch. To use those so I had three wires run off to this side three wires run off to this side and then it works so pretty easy I'll link the shrink wrap heat tubes that have the solder inside of them in the description below as well as what type of LEDs these are they are silicone coated so they are waterproof I'm not sure how long they'll last getting dirty, but they are pretty well protected right there from taking any impacts. A few things to quickly note is that on these LEDs I did wire, solder these three wires to each one. A lot of them come in big rolls. They do come with wires to get a specific length. You could order them directly on Amazon. I will link them below, but I did want to point out that on these guys there's little arrows that direct the LEDs. The power has to come in and the arrows face away. They are directional so if you solder down from this side they will not work. You want to make sure that you come in from this side if you are soldering them yourself. And for those wondering this here's the positive pad that one's the data, that one is the ground. So for up here when you have your red, white, and black, if you do not have the same colors on your LEDs, that will be the determining factor of how you need to wire them. I know that some of them are red, black, and green. Sometimes you get red, blue, and green, but those little pads there will tell you which ones you need to solder to. I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe, stay beautiful, stay awesome, enjoy your EUCs, and have a wonderful day.